Hello everybody, I'm your host Luca. If you're interested in breakdowns, comment down below what you'd like me to break down next. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. So in episode 3, we see Layla getting a fake identity, and in this scene, it seems to confirm the fan theory that Layla is in fact Marlene from the comics. And in this conversation with the document forger, we find out that Layla is basically Marvel's Indiana Jones. She likes to reacquire stolen artifacts off of the black market. Now, I said Layla seems to be Marlene, and that's because in the comics, Marlene is the love interest of Mark Spector and she is the daughter of an archaeologist who gets executed. In episode 2, we see the police who captured Stephen say this. Here's what they did to the archaeologist. Zip tied and shot in the back of the head. Execution style. We then see Mark going to interrogate somebody on the roof. Unfortunately, he's too late. Three guys have just killed him and Mark's now got to fight them on the roof. During this fight, Mark ends up seeing Stephen in a knife. Mark! Don't do it, Mark. Stop being him. Stop! Mark ends up losing control of the body, and next thing you know, Mark wakes up in the back of a taxi. And when Mark wakes up, he ends up spotting the guys he was just having a fight with, and he tries to speak to him and have a, like, just talk to him, but the guys run, which leads to Mark and these guys having a fight. And then during that fight, Mark ends up seeing Stephen in a mirror, and Stephen tells Mark, 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 that's enough. And then all of a sudden, Mark loses control of the body again. <laughs> and when he wakes up this time, Mark has plunged a knife into somebody's stomach. Stephen, what did you do? I swear it wasn't me. Then who was it? With the youngest goon being the only one left, Mark asks him, Where's the tomb? Conchu tells Mark, Take him to the ledge. Mark looks freaked out and says he's just a kid. Mark, feeling reassured at this point, decides to do it. Asks the kid, Where's Hero? And the kid just straight up, Where's Amit? Okay. This is how much of a prick Conchu is, okay? Conchu just goes, mm. I thought he'd talk. No remorse, nothing. Doesn't give a shit that he just killed someone. Mark asks Conchu about the other gods, and we learn that... To signal for an audience with the gods is to risk their wrath. What? Well, what's the worst that could happen? Anger them enough, and they'll imprison me in stone. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad to me. And then Conchu, being a little git bag that he is, decides to go, Oh, yeah. See how you fare against Harrow without the protection of my healing armor. You have any good ideas? I have a bad one. Sending the gods a signal they can't ignore. Which does alert the Ennead, but unfortunately also alerts Arthur Harrow as to what Konshu and Mark are doing. You're getting desperate, old bird. Arthur knows he's going to be called upon the Ennead and he wants to be prepared. So we are now left with Mark and Konshu preparing for their meeting with the Ennead. Aren't they scattered all over the world? Yes, but for a meeting of the Ennead, a portal presents itself anywhere. Okay, so, where's mine? And, boom, behind them, Diagon Alley style door opens. The last time I spoke to the gods, they banished me. Our case against Arrow must be indisputable. Aren't you coming with? Oh, I'll be there. And we walk through into oh, my days. We're inside. We're inside the great tomb of the Giza. Dude, amazing. We are met by the avatars of all of these gods, and when the gods speak, the gods speak through their avatars. Spare me your self-righteous threats! I was banished for not abandoning humanity, unlike the rest of you. We did not wish to meddle in the affairs of man. Speak your purpose. I call for judgment against Arthur Harrow! The charges? Conspiracy to release Amit! Arthur Harrow is called upon the Ennead and he decides he's gonna gaslight the fuck out of Mark and Conchu's entire plea. I was in the desert. Conchu has searched for Amit's tomb since he ensnared me to his service. Do not trust the word of a shamed god and his servant unwell. This is a man who literally does not know his own name. I, I have no idea how many personalities he must possess 
The man is clearly insane. We will not tolerate violence. Kancho is taking advantage of him. Take action now before it's too late. That doesn't change the fact that this, this man is... If you feel exploited by Kancho... This is not about my feelings! I'm not the one on trial here! He is! This is about how dangerous he is! If you would just listen for a second... He has committed no offense. This matter is concluded. And they say to Conchu, you fuck with the sky and we're going to turn you into a statue. You're going to turn to a little stone statue. No more fucking with the sky. Later on in the episode, Layla and Mark are on their way to go meet up with the late Gaspar de Uliel's character, Anton. They are in search of a map that's on Senfu's sarcophagus that will lead them to Amit's tomb. Mark has to come to terms with relinquishing control over to Steven. You want to talk to me? Talk to me. What now? What now is you give me the body and you piss off. He just needs a couple of minutes in there alone. He, he's praying. Sorry, if you expect my help, it's not going to be while I'm imprisoned. Do you want a bloodbath? All right. You are the worst. Arthur Harrow shows up and he decides he's going to demonstrate a fraction of Amit's power for Anton and steals the sarcophagus for himself. And then he dips, which causes a shootout between Anton and his goons versus Layla and Mark. Stephen does not like Mark's brutality. At one point, Mark is choking the life out of somebody. And Stephen says, Give me the body, Mark! And all of a sudden, we get Mr. Knight. With Stephen in control, he drops the guy. Sorry. You all right? And he tries to use democracy. That's it. All right, time out. Let's all calm down, yeah? Let's all just, like, chill the F out and talk for a second. But unfortunately, that does not go well, and he ends up impaled with a spear. Take the body, take the body, Mark. Mark ends up being pinned by multiple spears, and then, as soon as he sees Layla in danger... Layla! And he's got to protect the woman he loves. He hulks out. <laughs> He looks like Captain America right now, sprinting at Layla. As he gets there, he manages to chuck a crescent dart that hits Anton in the back as Anton rides off into the fog. Mark and Layla traveled to the desert to read the map, and it turns out the map is actually a constellation map, a star map. And Stephen then points out, Yeah, sent through Mark that tomb like 2,000 years ago and stars drift over time. It can mean the difference between us searching miles and miles away from where we're supposed to be looking. To which Konshu says that he remembers that night exactly. He remembers every night. I can turn back the night sky. It will come at a cost. He tells Stephen that when the gods imprison him, tell Mark to free him and then do what I do. Then Stephen and Konshu literally fuck with the sky again after being told not to fuck with the sky. They literally turn back the sky to the exact night, which alerts Harrow and the Ennead exactly what Konshu is doing. And we see Konshu turn to a little statue into stone. And Arthur Harrow got exactly what he wanted. And I love the way that Marvel writes these villains. It makes you want to smash their fucking face in. Just like I know you want to smash that like button for more videos like this. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope you comment down below what you'd like me to react to next or break down. I've been your host, Luca, and I'll see you in the next video, my babies. Peace. Peace.